was established on 15th September 1832 and has completed 180 years of its existence this year. And this library is a great parampara. It is a great parampara. It is a great parampara. National Library for us, he purvilli. This is the unique library in India which has this type of collection, especially related to Goa and its relations with Portugal and other Portuguese countries. Besides that, we had oldest printing press was set in Goa in 1556. So some of those publications as well as some manuscripts are maintained by Central Library. Now under the control of the curator of the Directorate of Art and Culture, it recently shifted to its spanking new address in Pato, Panaji. You'll forget stereotypes about libraries. Spread over six stories, the design is contemporary, innovative and welcoming. The idea was to build a, a building which was high-rise because we had no option, but to build it in a vernacular form. So it has some kind of uh, significance to the Goan skyline. Entertaining your kids doesn't have to be stressful. Bring them to the central library. Vibrant colors leap off the shelves. Books packed into rows of cabinets. Numerous choices of reading material. Set within an airy, colorful ambience, the kids' section is a treasure trove of exciting curiosities. Knowledge and wonder come to life in the map reading section that features more than 150 maps. Sharing the second floor space is an extensive internet browsing cafe for adults. Experience the true spirit of the library on the third floor as you saunter through the maze of shelves and cabinets. It accommodates the lending section, containing more than 47,000 books on varied subjects that visitors can borrow. And this Sarva Prakarchi Pustaka Mala Itha Ubalabda Zhalilya, Maja Sanskrit Vishaya Baddha, Kiva Itiyas Sangrahala Shastraya Vishaya Vrti Pustaka Itha Ahe. The fourth floor serves as a mini archive, traditional service, access to technologies, lifelong learning opportunities, a seating capacity of 70. This section boasts of 13,000 rare books for reference from early manuscripts and imprints. Central Library has the earliest books printed in India. They are mostly in Latin. Whereas these manuscripts and all, whichever I am saying, printed in printing press, they are in Indian language but written in Roman. Those were meant by the missionaries to help in missionary work. Browse through the pink collection that contains a collection of some rare and old books. We have a Portuguese collection, a pink collection, and researchers and so on. Your search for books in the Portuguese language ends here. Gain access to around 35,000 Portuguese books and some French and German language books. Most of these books that you can see here are of the 16th, 17th, 18th centuries. They've come from the convent of St. Augustine, at, which was at Old Goa. And those abroad or here in India who are interested in working on the history of bookmaking should come to the, to the library to see these books. Created to stand out amidst the surrounding landscape, the library reflects an attitude of adopting new and revelatory trains of thought. A veritable link between the past and the future. It stands tall as a modern tribute to imagination, inspiration and knowledge. An icon of a land with a history of knowledge seekers, brimming with the glory of discovery, the certainty that knowledge is freedom, it is life. Thank you.